In today's video, I will show you how to code a widely used optimization algorithm called Gradient Descent. Before starting, let's show you the algorithm and its usage. So Gradient Descent is a simple algorithm to find the best parameter to fit a function given some data point and their response. It works by iteratively improving the estimate of a parameter until a local minima is hit or the maximum number of iteration imputed is attained. Let's look at some example. So the, the algorithm work a bit like this. Here we have only one parameter and we have the cost associated to it. So we have a, a 2D plane. Um, so we start at, at a random w, the parameter, and we take a small step in the direction of the gradient uh, that will uh, give us the smallest cost, basically. So depending on the function, we're going to get to different local minima depending also on the random uh, random random initialization. When the uh, algorithm get to the to a minima, the algorithm stop. So this is for one hyperparameter. If we look at something with two hyperparameter, we get the plane. We can get a plane like this. Um, here, the optimization plane is made of W1, which is um, on the x-axis, and W2 on the y-axis, and the contour represents the cost at a, at a given point. So the global minima here is the center of the circle, and we're trying to get there um, by starting at some step. So here we start at x0 with this uh, x and y, which represent the W1 and W2, and then we slowly um, we find the gradient at each, each step and then we move toward the center. If we look at the, another uh, view of the same thing, here we have a similar uh, view of the, the cost landscape, right? In 3 dim dimension, the cost in the z is in the z dimension. Um, it's kind of depicted as a as like a valley with like some water. Um, so here uh, what we have is in the x and y we have the w1 and w2. But instead of having a contour, you have um, elevation. So the algorithm randomly start in that cost plane, and uh, it select the W1 and W2 and try to make a our way to the deep blue um, area, so to toward the water basically. Um, one thing to note here is that the gradient descent can get and will get stuck at the local minima depending on how it was initialized. You can have four parameter five a million; it doesn't matter. After two, it's hard to visualize. <coughs> so this last example um, hint us toward a good metaphor for a gradient descent is to compare it to um, trying to get down from a, a foggy mountain. You can't see very far and you need to take a step at a time. So in this analogy, the learning rate we talked before is how much of a large step you're willing to make. If the learning rate is super huge, we will be making jump kilometer away, which is super risky but that could get us to the, lo the global local minima. But if the steps are too small, it will take forever to get us to the mountain. So if we're trying to find the formula of a simple line, let's say um, y equal intercept plus slope times x, given a set of x and y, so those x and y's are the data that we work with, and what we could do is uh, use the square root cost function to know if our estimate are good um, and if we, we use that, we get those following costs too. So the pseudocode look like this. We initialize W1 and W2 randomly, right? Over W3, 4, 5, if you have um, those number of parameters. And while you're not converging or you're still doing iteration, uh, you do this. W1 equal W1 minus learning rate times the gradient. Similarly for W2, W3, whatever. So that's the gist of it. Right, so here we are. So we're, we're trying to uh, make this, um, turn this pseudocode into a Python implementation. We're gonna use only the NumPy library uh, to make the arrays, uh, not to make any uh, multiplication or whatever, or um, linear algebra stuff. We don't need that. We're just gonna use it for the arrays. Okay, perfect. So this is our formula that we're trying to estimate. We're trying to estimate W1, W2. Uh, we have a bunch of data points and we're going to use the the square error um, so square error so what we're going to use we have um, we're going to minimize so this sum if we're using square error 
and the gradient are, are like this. So let's look at um, how this algorithm behaves. Okay, so let's start from the bottom here. Um, here we have a simple line with intercept equal zero and slope one. Um, so if you look at the x's and the y's, this is what we have, and this should be a line with intercept zero and slope one. Here in this example, we should have uh, if we have this these x's and this y, it's going to be intercept of zero and a slope of two. And over here, it's the same thing as this, but we have a bias of one, an intercept of one. So we should get those w1, w2. So this is what we're trying to hit, right? And this is the algorithm uh, we're going to be using, the gradient descent algorithm, right? So we have x's, y's, and then we have learning rate and the maximum number of iteration. Um, you can use this or a precision parameter, but I'm, I decide to use the maximum number of iteration. So here, like we looked in the pseudocode, I'm randomly initializing my stuff, right? And here my weight goes from 0 to 1, beginning. Um, this is a bit arbitrary, I could do 10, whatever. And here this is where I'm actually iteratively uh, fixing my stuff. So if you remember, we do w whatever equal w minus the learning rate times the gradient at this particular step. That's all we're doing, right? So this is the whole algorithm. So um, let's look at gradient w1, gradient w2. How do we calculate those? Here we are for gradient w1, right? So um, if you remember, it was 1 divided by n times a sum, right? So this is where I'm doing the sum. And if you look over here, I'm calculating all the derivative of, um, of uh, w1 using the derivative, right? So I'm, I'm calculating all the gradient and I'm summing, up, summing them up together, and then I'm going to divide them by n. That's all I'm doing here. And I'm returning that gradient. Same thing for w2. It's the exact same thing. Actually, I can turn this up into a, a higher order function. That, that, that you, you get the gist of it. That's, that's the idea. This is calculating the gradient for one thing. So let's look at those gradients, right? Um, that's that's pretty much it. It was it for w1 is is this is a derivative, right? And that will give me the gradient at this particular spot. And for w2, this is the derivative. This is the slope. This is the intercept. This is what I get as a gradient. And I have to sum all of the gradient and divide by n to get my estimate of the gradient. So to know where I should go. F over here is just the function. That's that's all. So let's run that. Right now, that's finished running. So here, let's look at how this algorithm behaves. Uh, we should get uh, w10 and slope of one. So at the beginning, it's pretty, it's pretty dumb, right? Uh, because it's just random, and then start to, to go into the right direction, right direction. And at this point over here, it's pretty much done. If I give it more, um, more time. We're gonna get really close to zero over here, and here really close to to one. For this one, let's look at if you can get it. Pretty sure you can get it. It started at one, and then you see it's it goes up really fast, and this one goes down a bit slower, slower, but still, um, at this point it catch up, and then we have zero, and then two. <coughs> Similarly over here, we have um, the same thing. So. Here that was supposed to be one, and this is supposed to be two, and that's it. That's the gradient descent algorithm. So the code is straightforward. It's a direct implementation of the pseudocode we discussed previously. So Python is really express an expressive language, so it, there was basically nothing to change from pseudocode to actual code, uh, which is always uh, nice to have. So gradient descent is an important algorithm for machine learning, and an important concept to grasp for optimization of functions. However, the, the original version, the one that we just saw, um, doesn't really scale well with lots of data points since it's using all of them to calculate the gradient. Uh, if like Here we have, what, seven data points? If we had a million, um, you will need to do the gradient of a million uh, data points for each iteration. Um, it's, it's, it's prohibitive. A variant of this algorithm called stochastic gradient descent um, can keep an almost similar performance um, almost, without the scaling bottleneck. And this is the one that is usually used in um, neural network. This and mini batch version of it, 
which we'll discuss uh, in the next video. If you want to check out the, uh, the other algorithm from scratch that I made, you can look at my repository, it's in the description.